Yeah! <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Sorry the background right now is kind of like distracting. This is my new like office slash filming room and I will probably start filming with this like day bed I have in the background, but I still have to put the bed skirt on it. So for now, I'm just sitting on the floor in front of the window for good lighting. So anyways, bear with me. But what I did want to do today is talk about show y'all a little bit of um, footage from our move. So if you didn't know, we just moved, my husband and I, from our like 800 square foot one bedroom apartment that we've lived in for about a year and a half since we got married to a four bedroom house, our first house. So it's kind of a big, it was a big jump size wise. Um, so I didn't think, you know, having a small space that we had that much stuff to move. So um, I wanna show y'all kind of the process of like, us moving out it actually took like the whole day um just to get everything in to the u-haul so let me backtrack we rented a u-haul for moving day and had two of josh's friends come help us for the whole day um and we went and got the u-haul the day before started at like 6 30 a.m on moving day loading it up and then took it over to the house well we went and closed on the house and we came over to the house unloaded it and it took legitimately probably like 16 hours just to get everything in and then into the house and that wasn't even any like unpacking so i just wanted to give you all some little so i'll show the footage now from the move so i'm outside because josh and his buddies have the music going so loud in our house but we are home i'm in the backyard and we have had a long day we started packing the u-haul like 6 30 this morning josh's friends came and joined us helped us and we went and closed um, officially like bought the house and then we've been moving in and right now they're lifting some of the heavier stuff and I am lifting as many boxes as possible so we're just trying to get everything in and then we're going to worry about unpacking so you'll see quite a work in progress oh, it's your shoes <laughs> You kind of got to see like a little bit of behind the scenes vlog footage the guys wanted to be in the video so shout out kyle and jason for helping us move that was super helpful um next time we move we're just definitely gonna hire movers because we're gonna have way more stuff than we did this time and it was just a lot but anyways so i want to give you all a couple of little tips um things that i think worked for us in this big move um one thing to remember is we were coming from an apartment but we we are married so we already had our wedding and all the wedding gifts so we had more stuff than maybe you will have if you're going from your college apartment or things like that. Because I had moved several times between college and grad school when it was like just me and like my stuff and not a lot of furniture and it wasn't bad at all. I fit everything in my like little Kia Sportage every time that I moved. Um, but we had a ton of stuff and what I did was I started packing probably like a week and a half before and I used a lot of like these storage bins that I'll show y'all. Um, these are great because you can fit a lot in them and you can fit heavier stuff in them than you can fit in boxes. Um, so you don't have to worry about like your big appliances, um, falling through the bottom. Like I was kind of afraid of my KitchenAid mixer, anything happening to that. So the bins were really good for that. The other thing is we, um, took trash bags and covered our clothes and just hooked the straps around the hanger so that when we moved in, we just hung them back up, took the garbage bag off and it was like the easiest way to move clothes. Um, I've had like moving boxes with like the metal rod in them before from when I was a kid and I moved from New York to Georgia. Um, and I know that like if you have movers, they do that. But if you're moving yourself, then you just do the trash bag thing. And it's a pretty easy way to um, move your clothes efficiently. The other thing is you want to make sure you pack a duffel bag of like your immediate needs. So have a couple of outfits, you know, um, have your pajamas, have your toiletries and your like everyday makeup, just stuff that you would need access to right away. Um, and maybe like any valuables. That way you, that can go with you in your car and not in the moving van and you know where it is in case you don't get to unpacking for a couple days, you at least have like your immediate needs. Another thing is we actually left our clothes in our dresser drawers and we just took all of our drawers out. So we took them all out, we moved the dressers into the U-Haul and then moved the drawers and put them back into the dresser. And then when we got 
to the house, we took the dresser's drawers out, moved them into the bedroom, and then moved the dresser without the drawers in it, just because our dressers are too heavy to move with um, drawers in them. And yours maybe won't be, but that way you don't have to clear out your whole drawer in order to move your dresser, if that makes sense. You can just leave things in them. And then our nightstands, we just left stuff in them um, because they didn't really need to be emptied. It wasn't, they weren't very heavy. Another thing I would say is pack your decor together rather than with like rather than by room so rather than having like your bedroom decor with your bedroom stuff just have like a decor box um that way that can be the first thing you pack because you don't need that stuff out till the very last minute and it's also probably the last you're going to unpack right because you're going to get in your space pull your stuff out and then decide okay now how do i decorate with you know mirrors and wall hangs and picture frames and florals and all that kind of stuff um so i have that all together and once we get like more settled and unpacked then i'm just going to go through and put the little trinkets throughout the whole house to decorate it. So um, it's good to just have those things packed together, I think. Okay, another thing you wanna do is make sure when you move in, make sure you have your bed made. So at some point, I did it when the guys were moving in some of the heavier furniture. I packed on a like fresh sheet set, the comforter, the mattress pad, all the bedding in a big um, storage bin, a clear storage bin that I knew, that I knew the shape of it and it was clear. So I knew exactly the, that, that was the bedding and um that way it was like all ready to go and i could just make the bed easily without having to dig through a ton of boxes to find pillowcases and the bed skirt and the mattress pad and all that kind of stuff so i had it all ready to go and so as soon as they were moving in furniture i put the bed frame together and put the mattress on and box spring and made the bed up that way we were ready to crash that night because we were exhausted so make sure you have your bed made up um like that should be probably the first thing you unpack just you know the kitchen it took me a few days but the bed was made that day that way we could sleep in it also i would say if you're moving like we were to a house and you have the space we moved everything into the like dining room like the first room i just told the people helping us like and you know for myself too i just put everything in that room and then you know helped with the furniture we made sure the furniture was in the right place um in the house but other than that the bins just all went in one room that way we just knew we were like all moved in nothing was really sorted but everything was in the house then from there like the next day when it was just my husband and i we moved the bins and boxes into their respective rooms and then from there we've been unpacking them in said room um, so that way, like, I didn't want to use the people helping us for like moving boxes that I could move. Um, it was mostly that we wanted, we needed their help with the heavier furniture that like I couldn't help Josh move. I could do some of it, but not all of it. Um, and so I really just wanted to make sure they could get the furniture in place and then I could do that, the heavier or the lighter stuff later. So anyways, those are my little tidbits, packing tips. Um, I hope this helps you if you are having, if you're planning on moving anytime soon. This has been a like such a crazy process, but we are so happy to be here. And we actually bought a house bigger than probably what we need right now for the reason that we don't wanna have to do this again anytime soon. So this is a house we can grow into for sure. Um, when we start a family, we'll still be here. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested in more home content, please like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And I think my next video is gonna be a home decor haul, a big home decor haul. So you probably want to watch that um, if you're interested in home stuff. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next one.